All right, we're here talking about the new MDT Zero Sage Trigger. This is an electronic trigger, and it's the only one of its kind. Uh, basically, this has an internal battery, fits in any Remington 700 uh, standard uh, platform. It has an electronic solenoid in here that releases the, uh, uh, the sear to allow for the engagement. It's completely programmable from four to 64 ounces, and uh, one charge to the USB-C on the bottom uh, is currently giving us about a thousand uh, pulls and potentially we're looking to get 3,000 out of it. The cool thing about this, it has accelerometers in it and a pressure sensor. So basically if you drop your rifle, it will sense that and it can't go off. If you slam it into a tree, it's going to sense that it can't go off. It's only going to sense the pressure building up through the, uh, the trigger itself. The, uh, the idea of this is, is MDT only builds a product that is better or that there's a need for in the market. We wanted to build a trigger. We went out there and we, and there's 30 great trigger manufacturers out there in a mechanical trigger. So how are we gonna make that better? Well, how you pull a trigger in a mechanical trigger determines how that sear is released. If you pull it slowly or gritty or fast or smooth, each time that sear is released from the cocking piece slightly different and that firing pin energy transferred into the primer slightly different. With an electronic trigger you have a solenoid in here that is always going to release every pull that that firing pin the exact same so that ignition from a human standpoint you're not going to be able to degrade the mechanical uh, or me mechanical efficiency of a system. So cool things about this is uh, to program this currently We'll lock this back into a safe mode. We'll hold the trigger for approximately 10 seconds. It'll flash on the bottom, give us its pressure, what, it, what it's set at, tell us we're in a tune mode. It'll go right to 64 ounces, which is its maximum. Then each pull will add one ounce. So we'll go 64 ounces, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Put the safety back on. It'll flash 10 times. Tell us we're set at 10 ounces. At that, at that time, we pick up our rifle. This one's set to five ounces. We pull the trigger, boom. Next time we run it, it is exactly five ounces. So the futures for this thing's pretty incredible. You know, I mean, it's it's harder and harder to find places to shoot around the world. Uh, there's ranges that have different limitations where you have to document how far a round can go and so forth. Because we have technology in here with accelerometers and, and inclinometers, basically we can we could potentially program this in the future where it will only fire between five degrees up and five degrees down, or 30 degrees up or 30 degrees down, and maybe get ranges in places we can't have them, people and the ability to shoot. So the information that we can gather from this and what the futures are with it is incredible, but most importantly, we're gonna take a system and make it as accurate as humanly possible.